It's coming. October 2020. The lights will shine bright. The air will smell clean. Green and blue will dance across the ice. That's right. The inaugural season of the National Hockey League in Seattle. What? You don't think that Seattle is a hockey town? <laughs> you couldn't be more wrong. Everything is in place. The arena, the management, the $650 million expansion fee. That's right, $650 million. We've begun down the path towards our own NHL team in Seattle, and you still don't think that this is the best place for a hockey team? Well, we'll see about that. Sports fans in the Northwest love to support their hockey teams. It's pretty easy to find a hockey fan here in the Northwest, with four out of the five WHL U.S. Division teams right here in Washington, and two of the best right here in the Pacific Northwest. Hockey fans have shown major love for their teams. The Seattle Thunderbirds, and my personal favorite, Western Conference champs, Everett Silvertips, have driven hockey in the Northwest to a fever pitch. The Thunderbirds have been able to keep a steady following since 1985. In fact, the fan base has grown to, grown to such a point that in 2003, the Everett Silvertips were able to have a successful expansion bid. But if there's already teams in the Northwest selling hockey tickets, would a professional hockey team actually do well? Well, when the prospective season tickets for a prospective NHL team in Seattle were put on sale, the investment group sold 25,000 in one hour. In fact, the Oakville group sold so many tickets, they had to cap it at 33,000, mostly because the original plans for the arena only included 17,000 seats. That's a whole H-E double hockey sticks lot of tickets, if you catch my drift. With sales like that, the NHL is bound for history. But this wouldn't be the first time that hockey has made history in Seattle. Seattle has a long history when it comes to hockey. It all started in 1915, when the Seattle Metropolitans came. The Mets were one of the first all-star teams. They brought in players from all over America and Canada and offered them a lucrative salary to play. And that strategy paid off. In 1917, the Mets were the first American team to bring home the Stanley Cup. That laid groundwork for a lot of great teams in Seattle history like the Ironman and the Seahawks. No, not the football team. In 1933, the Seattle Seahawks brought together some of the, the greats, well, mediocres for Seattle hockey. Unfortunately, the Seahawks never really were able to capture that same success that the Mets had, but they really did give it a good try. Unfortunately, every year, they were knocked out of the playoffs by Vancouver. But when most people think about Seattle's golden age of hockey, they think about the Totems. In 1958, the Totems brought forth the second golden age of hockey in Seattle. They were winning games and clinching championships and really bringing up the fandom in Seattle. Unfortunately, the totems fell due to money troubles, but they set up a legacy that Seattle has really been able to ride ever since. And I feel that that's a legacy that hockey fans can really cash in on now to bring a team to Seattle. The unfortunate thing is we hockey fans in Seattle haven't really been able to hitch our bandwagon to any teams. And that's really hard for a hometown boy like me. Growing up, I was a fan of the Seattle Seahawks, the Seattle Mariners, and the Vancouver Canucks. The Canucks were the 
close to hometown team here in Seattle. I saw the Canucks every year for my birthday. And it was a great chance to travel to Vancouver and see a lot of the greats play. But I remember that there was nothing better than being able to sit there, smell the ice, feel the energy of the crowd, and yell at those officials. But all the while, I wanted nothing more than to have a team in here in, in Seattle. So I could wear my colors proudly, I could smell the ice, and I could yell at more officials. I just wanted to be able to see all those great players that I would see when I was watching the games at home. And root for a team here in my hometown. Through the years, I have been able to root for some great people and some great players playing for both the Thunderbirds and the Silver Tips. I've seen lots of young men develop into great players and then move on to greatness in the NHL. But I want to see that greatness brought to Seattle. And I want Seattle to be able to show their greatness to the NHL. I want to bring my daughter to a game I want her to be able to smell the ice, to feel that crowd energy. Maybe I won't let her yell at the officials so much, but I think that given the chance, Seattle would be a great place for hockey, and Seattle is the best place for the new hockey team. Seatown 2020! Hashtag, how mean is the green?